by simply pressing the plus or minus buttons, you can set your pressure to whatever you would like. The numbers on the dial represent PSI or pounds per square inch. And so if I can just do an example here, right now we're set to 60 PSI. Ah, I see. Yeah. So if you wanted to lower it to 55, you press the, the minus button once, go up to 70. And this is, you can change this at any time. Any time. What would be an example of where people would change it frequently if it's... Well, if if they use the DigiPed for a while and they notice that they're still not getting the pressure that they want. Mm. You know, it might be a little bit of trial and error to get it to set to where you want. Right. Um, so it, it might take, a you know, a couple of weeks to figure out, you know, right. what, what you want. So find, finding that sweet spot there. It, yeah. Exactly. So. Okay. And then what are we looking at here for like, uh, like these, the fittings, all that? What is this coming through? Sure. Yeah. The, the DigiPed comes with, um, it's very easy to install. It comes with fittings here that are three, they can rotate 360 degrees. Oh, okay. So it would accommodate different plumbing installations. Right. Um, they move 360 here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. This is under pressure, so it's a little bit more difficult to uh, to move. But you can install these without having to use any tools. Oh, okay. It, it simply connects to the pump here with a, a retaining fork. Oh, I see. So you just slide it in and then it goes, yep. uh, goes Slug in. Slug it in. Yeah, okay. Yep. What's nice about this feature is if you ever had to remove the DigiPed for maintenance or um, service, you don't have to cut the pipe. You can simply, you know, turn off the power to the pump, drain the pressure, and then you move, remove the forks and the fittings come out where you can just move the DigiPed out of the way for service or maintenance. Right. Is there anything we're missing in covering that side? Uh, I just wanted to mention the the overall footprint and the compact size of this. Sure. You know, as oh. you can see, it looks kind of like about the size of a desktop computer. So this can be installed in just about any application. Um, if you have a small area in a utility closet, it, it'll fit in there no problem. Um, How long will the uh, life, uh, lifetime, life expectancy of the unit? Uh, 10 plus years. It yeah. can go even longer, 20. It all depends on, you know how much it's being used on a daily basis. We've walked essentially through the controls and the components. Now let's uh, let's zoom out and do a test. We've got a toilet here, shower, and two faucets. Uh, so let's let's jump into the demo. Sure, yeah. So this is what you might find in a typical residential application with the faucets, uh, as you mentioned, and a toilet. Right now the pump is in standby mode and it's uh, built up to 60 PSI uh, pressure. Um, so let's go ahead and turn on a faucet here. And you can see the pressure will drop temporarily until the, the motor kicks on. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Yep, so now it's back up to 60 PSI, and the motor is only running as fast as it needs to to maintain that pressure. So right, right now it's running very slow. If we go ahead and turn on another faucet, you can see that it's still maintaining 60 PSI. Because the motor already kicked on. Yes, it's still running, but it was at slow speed. Now the, the speed of the motor is gradually picking up to maintain that 60 PSI. Right, okay. And if we turn on the shower faucet. Okay, so I can do that. Yeah. Oh, that's a it's tough a, reach. That's a tough reach. Yeah, there we go. Yep. So it's still maintaining. Motor's getting a little bit faster. Okay. And you, what happens when you're in the shower? Someone always comes in and flushes yeah. the toilet. We've all done it to someone. <laughs> Accident and on purpose. Yeah. So it just gets maintained. Yep. So now the pump is running at full speed while still maintaining 60 PSI. So this is a great app, you know, installation for you know like we mentioned previously where you have low city water pressure it might fluctuate if someone flushes a toilet or turns on a faucet this will maintain that pressure constantly right so on a scalability then um we've got right now we've got four four units mm -hmm. we're running when that when the toilet got flushed so what would that be then if uh, i'll just turn that off for for sound but what would that be then if you scale that up to 30 running well that's one great thing about the dg pad it's expandable mm -hmm. if you have an application that requires even higher volume output you can connect two of these together oh i see okay so yep. you can scale them. you can scale yep. them okay up. yep yep the, there's a connection kit available which allows easy connection for two units it comes with a nice sturdy base that secures both the pumps too so it'll stay in one place and we also have wall mounting kits available so if you want to get it up off the floor mm. and mount it on a wall that's available as well amazing product yeah.